hello 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 everyone sorry for the shakiness at the beginning this is hawk and i'm going to talk about my amanita muscaria experience now i do have the products in here like the let's see if i can get this at the right angle the fresh dried caps here um not fresh dried but they're dried caps at the very least not fresh fresh but they're certainly dried and preserved um caps i should say i also have um some salves and some oils like this oil i got from belladonna's botanicals it is discontinued but it is a fantastic oil um i also have a sm smoke blend that i made with the dried cap i made a powdered form that i can blend into things if i really wish to or like lotions or um drinks and i have a salve that i made i have a salve from Belladonna's Botanicals, um, not sponsored, just a company I really like, and a tincture from Belladonna's Botanicals. And I'm hoping my fr face is in frame, but um, I want to talk about Amanita Muscaria today. So, a disclaimer, uh, use common sense, check legalities where you live about Amanita Muscaria. Uh, this is not medical advice, nor are these claims or experiences meant to tell you directly to use it. Rather, you should always use caution and common sense and consult a healthcare provider before using. And yes, I'm reading off the script because ADHD and autism, I won't be able to articulate or remember much if I don't have it. But um, don't ingest if pregnant and uh, do not use it like you would psilocybin based mushrooms. This isn't like 15 grams is going to give you X amount of XYZ effect. Like, the potency of the mushroom varies from cap to cap when it comes to Amanita muscaria and from localities, growing conditions, where it is in the life cycle, how open or closed, it all varies the potency. And uh, also don't go picking random mushrooms. Uh, there are very much some deadly Amanita out there that do have amatoxins. And although Amanita, Amanita muscaria is not one of the mushrooms that contain amatoxins, you don't want to pick any deadly lookalikes. So with that being said, what do I have to say about this fabulous mushroom that looks like something out of a Mario game? Well, I have my experience as well as some general information. First, I'll go over some general information about this. Again, this is not a psilocybin-based mushroom. It's not like a Liberty Cap. It's not like a Golden Teacher. This is Amanita muscaria, which is this mushroom here has... It looks like this is the red or the white dots, but it has like a frills right here. It should have frills. And um, sometimes it comes in yellowish orange shades as well, especially in North America. Um, it's been traditionally used in Siberian folk medicine. And also there's a lot of European tales that may originate with Amanita muscaria, such as Santa and his flying reindeer. And um, this is not psilocybin based, rather this has um, ibotenic acid and muscimol, and while ibotenic acid does have brain lesioning effects in animals, it is not certain whether or not it has the same effect in humans. For instance, although this is not Amanita muscaria, lavender is deadly to cats but not necessarily to humans in most doses unless they are allergic or ingesting it the wrong way. And um, I would I would guess, I'm not a doctor, but I'm guessing ibotenic acid works similarly. And then there's muscimol, which is the other main component within Amanita muscaria. Um, see, when you decarboxylize the mushroom cap, um, when you, by drying it or like using it in a tea or whatever, um, with the heat and the dryness, um, it decarboxylizes it and converts the ibotenic acid to muscimol. So a freshly dried cap will have more ibotenic acid, but something that might be brewed in a tea or smoked, um, that'll have a different effect. Um, it'll have more of a muscimol effect, which muscimol, do your research into, um, is a GABA-A receptor agonist that is not addictive. So it works on a similar part of your brain that, say, a benzodiazepine would, but it is not addictive. It doesn't have that withdrawal aspect when you stop using it. You don't get that. So that is something to be aware of. And I will provide some resources when it comes to um, the research behind Amanita muscaria, as well as how to prepare and dose it, because I am not the person to really go to for that. Sure, I've ingested it, 
but like my word is not necessarily gospel nor is theirs but they're more experienced than I am I'm just a person who has taken it and done their research but I'm no expert um, I'm just a person who's taken it and wants to share my experience and some basic information so there's that and the people I want to link and I should link be linking it if I remember are Amania Dreamer, I will link their website or their YouTube, depending on what is available, and Baba Masha MD. Also, um, I will link some resources if you are really interested in getting any of them, I will link them if I can. If I am able to, I will. Um, obviously, be careful, cautious, don't take if you're under 18, don't take if you are pregnant, or if you have, like, serious medications that might contraindicate, make sure the compounds in Amanita muscaria won't contraindicate your medications because obviously you don't want to be careful. So what's my experience with this? Well I've had this in a number of ways like I discussed earlier. Um, what I tried first was this now discontinued Belladonna's Botanicals um, fly agaric flying oil which is literally just fly agaric and olive oil. That's all it is. And um, it's really interesting because I have a number of health issues here. Like I might have mentioned earlier, I am autistic and ADHD, but I also have misophonia, where lip smacking triggers my fight or flight, makes me feel very nauseous, violently ill, really just upset and anxious, and like I get into a freeze state, like panic attacks. And um, I also deal with chronic pain as a result of having a double uterus, which by that I mean yes, two cervixes, two uterus, that situation. Um, and I also have endometriosis and some other bodily health issues that aren't reproductive based and I was just like I will do anything to help with my anxiety and depression I will do anything to really within reason of course because like I want something I can use alongside my medication that'll help me treat some of my issues and when I heard that you know this has muscimol which is a GABA A receptor agonist which helps with anxiety and stress and pain and things like that, um, I'm like, okay, like, I kind of need to try this, like, in a small dose, and so that's exactly what I did. Um, I used this oil, the fly agaric flying oil, and I applied it to, oh, in small drops because I wanted to, like, make sure I wasn't allergic to it. I did this, I just kind of dropped it on there and did this. And then when I realized I wasn't allergic 30 minutes after, I just waited a little bit to make sure I wouldn't have a reaction. I put some here and some here, a little more on me basically, um, but on um, thinner parts of my skin. And immediately I noticed the bodily aches. I do get a lot of like joint pain and muscle pain. Um, it wasn't as apparent and I felt really calm. And I don't know if the tiredness I was experiencing was necessarily the muscimol because it was right before bed, so I was automatically tired. But I did feel tired, and so when I woke up, I slept, and I had some vivid dreams. I can't remember what they were about, but I know that they were very, like, vivid and more, like, intense than usual. It felt very peaceful, though. Like, peaceful but vivid. It's hard to explain, and I had... I remember it being more of a spiritual nature, but I can't quite remember the details right now because my brain blanks when it's put on the spot <laughs> but um I had some vivid dreams and then when I woke up I was eating or about to eat um out in the living room uh, trying to be away from people but my mom was in the living room eating her cereal and smacking her lips as she ate because she chews with her mouth open and so I noticed this and this would normally send me into a panic attack but it didn't this time I felt like calm and like I could observe that it is a trigger for me and I could just let it go, which for me is practically unheard of because I don't normally experience it. I'm like, whoa, what the heck? I'm not trying. I even exclaimed, like, I'm not triggered by this. What on earth? Like, why am I not triggered by this? And I was just like, wait a minute. I tried the Amanita Muscario last night and maybe that has something to do with it. So I look it up and sure enough, yeah, GABA A receptor agonist and it helps with anxiety and things of that nature so something that would trigger a lot of large amounts of stress and pain and distress in your body like brain it helps uh counteract that and um i was like wow that is fantastic and so i've had it in other forms since then but that was my main testimony like it provided relief from something that has really been 
a struggle point for a lot of my life now. Like, I can't eat around others. I simply can't. I can't eat in a group setting. And normally, but this stuff here allows me to do that because I can more easily. Like, I can it's still, like, it's a little triggering, but it's not nearly as triggering as it is, like, when I don't take it. And also, it keeps me, like, focused in a sense. I don't know if that is the muscimol. I think that'd be more ibotenic acid, at least according to Amanita Dreamer, who I will link. But um, it does help me focus and get into a flow state, which I am ADHD, I am medicated, but like, my meds feel janky and although I take them, it feels very forced. This did not feel forced. It's like, when it kicked in, I suddenly became a lot more aware and focused on what I was doing, and I felt like aware of like the implications and the potential consequences but not in an anxiety inducing way just just a general more heightened sense of awareness and perception is what i felt and ability to focus at the same time it's the weirdest sensation for me to describe as somebody who has adhd it's just like i i flowed i could hyper focus and i didn't have to like try really hard and like put in earplugs or anything like i could actually hyper focus and it was like really, or I like can monotask or multitask if I wanted to. I could do either and it was like brilliant. And also it is great for period cramp relief. Uh, don't take if you're trying to get pregnant. Uh, I know Baba Masha talks about like not good for pregnancy. But um, don't take if you're trying to get pregnant. But I rubbed the oil or salve on me that helps with that. And it was great. Now... If I want more of a spiritual experience, I do mix other herbs with it and things of that name, and entheogens. Now, with entheogens, be careful, yes, you are dabbling with poison, but um, uh, when it comes to herbs like um, blue lotus or mugwort, I use a tincture. Like, I use this tincture in a mugwort tea, which is, this has fly agaric and blue lotus and a grain alcohol. But if I want more of, like, a sedative effect from my amanita i will have this flying ointment which be very careful with this because it does contain mandrake and you don't want mandrake poisoning um but i find it's very good for pain relief as well as divinatory work and spirit communication as well as like these spiritual urges to divinate like i feel like more connected to spirit and like i'm because of my awareness is heightened like i mentioned earlier i am more perceptive to receiving downloads from my guides and deities than i would have normally otherwise been and like i am able to perceive when a message coming from another person is like in a sense something that spirit has been trying to tell me but like i haven't been focused on i've been kind of ignoring or pushing to the side this is i'm, I'm more perceptive to them being like hey you know we're trying to talk here like hello we're talking to you like you need to listen like i'm more perceptive to that than i normally am because i tend to dissociate which is not fun um also i did smoke it yesterday and i felt the urge to clean my room which i still need to do but i felt a really heightened urge to clean my room um and i felt motivated enough to start which is great because again i dissociate i'm adhd <laughs> I, I, I like my organized mess, but also disorganization is not good either, but this actually helps me focus so I can get that or that mess under control, if that makes sense. I don't know how else to put it. Basically, my experience too long didn't listen. Serious misophonia relief. I can observe my triggers and let them go because of this stuff. Um, is great stress relief, pain relief, be it migraines, body aches, whatever the case is. It's great if you need to focus or if you need sleep, depending on how it affects you and the way that you take it and what it's taken with. Very, very much it can help. Um, and it is very great for vivid dreams that are more spiritual in nature and connecting to your spiritual side. And it's great for purity cramp relief for like chronic pain and also helps me focus. But I will warn one thing before I end this video. If you have it in a tea form, which I have done many a time, um, like, you put the dried cap, like, you measure out, like, you break off some of the dried caps and you boil it in water and let's, uh, you boil water and you let it steep in the boiled water for 15 minutes, um, to convert ibotenic acid more to muscimol, like, kind of to have a cleaner conversion. 
uh, like a more even conversion. Um, basically, if you do that, I will warn you, it'll taste like a mushroom pizza with no texture, which is not the most pleasant, but like the effects are great. So if you like that, go ahead. So yeah, I hope this video is informative or entertaining and not too awkward because I will admit I am a very awkward person and I'm not going to like mask myself for YouTube. That's just kind of dumb. If you want to connect to me, I want it to be authentically. Like I want you guys to connect to the real me and not have some like scandal if I turn out to be fake, aka the mask drops. So I'm like, screw it. I'm just gonna be myself, which is not the point of this video. But TLDR, this stuff is great for general pain and anxiety relief and great for spiritual um, workings and insights and know-how and all that. So, hope this video is entertaining. Um, use this stuff with caution, please. Uh, if you are going to, I will link resources. And I might link a shop that sells it. Um, yeah, I hope this is or a shop or two, I should say, that sells it and or products that have it in it. Um, it being Amanita Muscaria or Flag Eric. So I hope this is entertaining. This is Hawk signing out. Thank you for coming along on this part of my journey.